Hello everybody, and welcome to the C-Band Demo Experience. My name is Paul Chaloner, and I'm the VP of Network Product Solutions for Ericsson North America. And today, we're in Plano, Texas, and it's a lovely day for a demo at our North American headquarters. My role is to be your guide through our innovation demo. And I'm proud to be demonstrating what we believe to be a world record. The people at Guinness Book of Records may not be here today, but I can guarantee you a front row virtual seat for our special event. What's the most important activity in 5G today in the US? I would argue that it's the deployment of US mid-band 5G, and specifically the C-band, which was auctioned recently for over $80 billion, a total of 280 megahertz of spectrum. So how should we put this to good use? We need to maximize the spectral efficiency, getting the most out of the spectrum capability. We can so we can delight our end users and enable many more use cases. Today, we'll demonstrate a world record uplink of over 300 megabits per second from the device to the base station. But that's not all. We'll also demonstrate 1.5 gigabits per second from the base station to the device. This is a truly powerful performance from Ericsson commercial equipment, and really making the most out of CBAT. And how are we achieving this record speed? How are we achieving the throughput in a certain radio channel? The data rate will depend on bandwidth, modulation scheme, and MIMO technique, multiple input, multiple output capabilities. So in terms of radio bandwidth, we're using 100 megahertz of C-band, 3.5 gigahertz, which is TDD spectrum, which is time division duplex, which means you're transmitting and receiving on the same band. In terms of modulation and coding, we're using 256 QAM, quadrature amplitude modulation, on both the downlink and the uplink. Next, we'll apply single-user MIMO on both downlink and uplink. And so let's talk about MIMO and how that helps us. MIMO is about transmitting multiple beams, multiple radio signals. Each beam is separated physically, so you can use the same frequency at the same time, which means each beam I can transmit a different data stream. More data streams, higher data rate. The beams are controlled by the system automatically, and it needs to be adjusted depending on the radio environment and feedback from the device is used to control those beams. The radio environment changes all the time with interference and reflections, and so the system must adapt automatically and continuously. Let's watch how the AES Advanced Antenna System Radio 6449 is installed on our rooftop, preparing for this demonstration. My name is Aaron Liao, head of end-to-end -end 5G systems. Welcome to Ericsson campus. What a gorgeous day for us to experience some record-setting high-speed 5G. Now that you have seen the installation of the radio on the rooftop, we are going to start a sequence of demonstrations, first downlink, then uplink, to take you through the high-speed experience. So please buckle up and enjoy the ride. First stop, we are going to start with a downlink single user MIMO. So in the back, you can see behind me on the rooftop is the radio. And with this technique, we're going to create four layers or four beams, all gearing towards this one single UE, which is also the maximum number of layers that can be supported by this technique. So let's see what kind of high-speed data rate that we can get with this technique. Okay, so as you can see on the screen here, on the lower left-hand side, this shows the 5G NR data rate, and it's showing 1556 megabits per second, so it's roughly 1.5 gigabits per second. That is a very impressive high data rate that we have achieved with this technique. Next, we're going to see uplink data rate. This is where the excitement comes in that we're going to break some world record by reaching near peak theoretical value on the uplink. In the single user MIMO uplink case, the device forms two beams gearing towards the base station to reach that peak value that we are reaching. So let's see what kind of data rate that we're getting today. So in the screen, more towards the left-hand side, 
you can read this 315 megabits per second for uplink. This is the near peak rate that we are getting for today. Very impressive. Well, wasn't that fantastic? I hope you've enjoyed our virtual demo today, witnessing over 300 megabits per second on the uplink and 1.5 gigabits per second on the downlink to a single user. Ericsson continues to push the pace of innovation forward in 5G and in order to build the 5G infrastructure for the US as a platform for economic growth. We're seeing the advances in the ecosystem with yet more capabilities in the radio, the device and the baseband. But all of these need to come together to optimize performance and ensure that the US mid-band rollout is the best that it can be. We continue to challenge ourselves every day to be better and reach new technology milestones. Thanks and goodbye from Plano.